Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you for being here tonight. Welcome to the final Chautauqua event of this academic year. Uh, I think this is a wonderful way to cope with the stress before the finals exams. Uh, my name is Ming Nguyen, and I'm the Chautauqua Lecture uh, Series uh, Coordinator. Uh, all our events are free and open to the public. Uh, classes are welcome and attendance slips will be available. So if you need one, please come to see me at the end of the Q&A. Uh, before we proceed, uh, I would like to acknowledge uh, the presence of members of our speaker, uh, Dr. Matt, uh, Matt Winslow's uh, family, uh, his wife, uh, uh, Mrs. Debbie Winslow. It's good to see you again. Uh, his mom, uh, Mrs. Nancy uh, Winslow, coming down all the way from Wisconsin. What, what a mom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, if my, I, 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 don't, I don't know when I will be invited to give a lecture, but I'm sure that my mother won't be able to get here <laughs> at least by driving. <laughs> So welcome to Kentucky, and uh, uh, Matt, you, uh, you have to take Mrs. Winlow to the Kentucky Derby, right? <laughs> uh, his mother-in-law, Mrs. Nawana Privet, and his father-in-law, Mr. George Privet. Uh, uh, true to the tradition, the Chautauqua has always been and continues uh, to be a family affair. And uh, so thank you for being here with us uh, tonight. Uh, since today, uh, tonight's event is the final uh, Chautauqua event of this academic year, uh, I would like uh, to take this moment to thank every one of you uh, and many others who are not here tonight for helping us uh, realize this year-long uh, lecture series on the theme, Living with Others, uh, Challenges and Promises. I hope this year's uh, series has helped us internalize the idea that living with others presents not only challenges, but also promises, not only problems, but also solutions. I hope that while we don't have to accept everything that others accept or value everything that others value by engaging in a serious conversation with others, by listening and responding to all the voices we develop and strengthen uh, the habits of coexistence, uh, which are absolutely uh, critical, not only for our democracy, but also for a decent human uh, community. So thank you for your support. At this moment, we are in the process of planning uh, the lecture series for the next academic year. Uh, we got a theme and we have lined up uh, a number of speakers. Uh, the theme is Crossroads. Uh, to mark EKU's uh, upcoming sesquicentennial observance of the U.S. Civil War, the series, the new series, will begin with a lecture on Lincoln and the Constitution. So on Thursday, August 23rd, uh, that is to say the first Thursday of the upcoming academic year, uh, at 7.30 in this auditorium, uh, Dr. Mark Neely Jr. will present a lecture entitled Lincoln and the Constitution. Uh, Dr. Neely is a Pulitzer Prize winning historian, uh, best known as one of the foremost authorities on the U.S. Civil War in general and President Abraham Lincoln in particular. Uh, he was the director of the Lincoln Museum in Indiana for more than 20 years. Uh, currently, he is the McCabe Distinguished Professor of Civil War History at Penn State University. Getting back to this evening's program, I would like to uh, ask my friend and collaborator, Dr. Mira Beth Bundy, uh, Professor of Psychology at EKU, a colleague and a friend of uh, Dr. Winslow, to come up here and introduce our speaker. So please give Dr. Bundy a warm welcome. Dr. 
before I forget, uh, thank you very much. Best of luck with finals and have a great summer. See you next year. <laughs> so, there's somebody over here with a large bottle of Pepto Bismol, and I'm thinking this person has had Dr. Winslow in class. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, joking aside, I'm happy to be asked to introduce Dr. Winslow tonight. As you know, he's the final speaker for this year's Chautauqua series, and this year you've been hearing talks related to living with others. The wonderful and interesting field of social psychology focuses on just this area. Dr. Matthew Winslow received his master's degree in social psychology from the University of California, Santa Cruz in 1993, and his doctorate in social psychology from the, the University of Minnesota in 1998, and he now teaches right here at EKU in our department of psychology. A little bit about Dr. Winslow. He is a strong empiricist with little tolerance for dogma. He is a humanist and also sometimes a cynic. And I imagine that these conflicting worldviews sometimes keep him up at night. <laughs> he has active research and teaching programs in the areas of empathy, prejudice, and political psychology. If you listen closely to the information he's going to present to you tonight, you may learn something about empathy and about people that you will remember for the rest of your life. I challenge you to do so. And you could even learn something that could change the way you live the rest of your life. So let's see if Dr. Winslow can change the way we think about walking a mile in someone else's shoes. Thank you. Excuse me while I get my technology ready here. Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Good. Sorry, hold on. Here we go. The funny thing is, this is my expertise in my department is I'm the technology person. And so you'd think I'd have this all ready to go right now, but OK. So I want to start out by, first of all, I'm not going to stand behind that thing. I'm going to walk around a little bit. So um, I want to thank, first of all, my friend Myra Beth Bundy. She's been a valuable colleague of mine for 14 years. Uh, thank you for that nice introduction. I want to thank um, Dr. Wen for, for asking me to be part of this series. It's a great honor to be part of this series. It's been a great series so far, I think. It's been uh, really interesting, so I'm happy to be part of it. I want to thank my family for being here. It means a lot to me. See, so I have my mother here. Wow, I didn't know it's going to be that important to me, but it does. Um, and I want to thank all of you to be, for being here because I know it is dead week. Um, it's finals week next week, so I'm sure you have a lot to do. Uh, but I do want to impose upon you just a little bit more. There's a little bit more work I want you to do. If you look underneath your seat, there's a piece of paper taped to the bottom of your chair. <laughs> and I want you to pull that off. And on that sheet, there are some questions. On one side, there are some songs that we're playing earlier, but on the other side are some questions. And I would like you to answer these questions. These are uh, easy questions to answer. And so I don't know if you have a pen or a pencil or not, but